Hi oh, guys, RJ is going here. Back in with the, the first episode of the um, Everton career mode. I saw unbelievable when I uh, put the poll question up to you guys there uh, about two days ago. Ask, I'm not sure how long ago it was, but about two, three days ago. Um, asking me what career mode should I do and Everton won it by a mile. West Brom are close, but um, Everton won it by a good bit, it was like three quarters said Everton, so this is the career mode we'll be doing. I saw a lot of uh, suggestions for players down in the comments and I actually wasn't expecting that until this episode. This episode now will just really be, um, will just really be an episode saying what players uh, you guys said in the last one and um, really just going through that pre-season tournament trying to sell off a bit of I had dead wood and, and stuff like that. Okay, looking at the preseason tournaments here, um, I'm probably gonna go with the one in France. Most money, and actually the clubs in it don't look. There isn't that many big clubs. There's probably like Monaco and two or three other ones. With, and of course we get Monaco in our group. Okay, shirt sales. Let's just go through all of these anyway. So qualify for your league, reach a semi-final of the FA Cup, and in the Premier League, uh, finish in Champions Cup. Wait, so it says they're qualified for the Euro League, but then it also says in the Premier League finish Champions Cup play, which so youth development. Sign two players with the potential over seventy-five to your youth academy. Increase their overall by t at least ten. So we actually don't even need to play them, but I'll be looking to try and do that. Um, brand exposure, gain 50 geez, earns in shirt sales. Okay, that should be okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, financial within two seasons increase the club's worth by 15%. Domestic, uh, Champions Club place and um, a semi-final. And just qualify for the Euro League, which is what I'm... Guaranteed, I'm nearly. That's that's a guarantee for Everton, really, at this stage. From now on, that needs to be in there. Champions Cup is the big one that they need to be doing. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look at what players I'd like to sell what Deadwood. So let's just have a look. Okay, we're here. So, um, as you can see, there, there's a load of loaning players because there's so much. Um, there's so many um, young players really that I need to get out loaned. But the most important thing that we need to look at now is the transfers. Uh, out, uh, left back, you know, he is, he's he looks quite good, has a few decent stats, but I think I can get a younger, better left back for the future instead of Leighton Baines. Uh, cleverly, I just see no future for him. He's just rubbish. Uh, Lennon, now this is probably a big one. Okay, Lennon, now this is a debatable one. He's getting up there in age, and he's five from five as well. But um, I already have De La Feu, and it was between him and De La Feu, and really, I think he just has to go. Uh, Kone getting there up there in age. Uh, yeah, so I just had to get rid of him. Nissan. Also, I just don't see any future for him. I think he's just not not a great player, really, to be honest. And Gibson. You know, I hate selling Irish players, but if you look at his wage, and he just looks. Like the way he's playing there and that, uh, I just I we need to get rid of him because he see he plays in this game he plays like a thirty two year old he's so slow sluggish not really that good. Okay, so this is the team that will be starting most of our games. Well, at the start anyway. Um, really, it actually looks quite a strong team. It doesn't look that bad, and you guys can make improvements. I think maybe the goalkeeper, I know Stecklenburg, in real life he's actually quite decent, but I think in this FIFA uh, we need, to, like he's 33 now, which is maybe not that old for a goalkeeper, but I'd like a, a longer, uh, a younger one. Um, yeah, I'd really just prefer a younger, a younger goalkeeper. So probably him, if you leave any comments, like you can just see this team now and looking at the bench as well, there's no striker. There's not like, unless I bring Kone or someone else up, but we need, I think we need another world-class striker up there with Lukaku, someone really pacey and strong, kind of like him, 
Valencia is kind of it, but I think Valencia will just be on the bench. So you guys can leave comments on any strikers you think that really could be a fit or any any positions you see there that's a weakness, maybe. Um, I think the CDM position really for us is quite strong. So I don't think we need any any uh, depth in that. So, because like we look, if you look, we have James McCarthy, we have Barry, and we could play easily a centre mid in there. We could play Guy in there as well, which is a waste because I think he's a really good player. But um, yeah, so let's just get into our first preseason match. Okay, playing Monaco, I'll just be simming this whole thing really because I don't really want to, don't really want to play it. We were winning one 0 Balassi scored in the sixth minute, which is good. Two 0 The Kaku Morales comes on as a sub scores one. That's just sim to the end. Three one. That's annoying. Giving away a penalty there in the end. Uh, it's still a great result there for us in this game. Okay, we've gotten an offer here for Darren Gibson. Uh, 7 million underneath his value and he, he hasn't, like, there's nothing that he's done wrong, so. Okay, let's just go 9 million. Slight, uh, a bit over his value. Like, if we got 9 million for Gibson, like, it'd be unbelievable. <laughs> a great price just to get for a player that we're never going to use. Okay, match here. The second match is against Lille, and um, we're just gonna skip straight to the end of this one. And it's a nil-nil stalemate. Okay. Oh my god! Look at this. Real Madrid. This is oh my god. Real Madrid are going for James McCarthy. This is. A Oh, this is crazy. Like, they're offering 19 million for James McCarthy. Th this is the craziest transfer I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, oh, you got you got to share this video now. The amount of times, oh, you, you need to just go out there and tell people this, this video. Like, look at that. James McCarthy for that. I never really wanted to sell James McCarthy, but Real Madrid, you know, I, I'm going to test them. I'm really going to test them. I don't really want to sell James McCarthy, but I'm going to put in 60 million counter offer for James McCarthy. But the Real Madrid going for James McCarthy, that is absolutely crazy. And they've matched it. So Darren Gibson will be going to Middlesbrough for 9 million, which is... Quite a good deal maybe for them, but a brilliant deal for us. Okay, Ross Barkley. Oh my god. We are getting transfer offers for everyone. Ross Barkley now, Atletico Madrid are looking for him. They obviously saw Real Madrid going for him. And uh, yeah, I just don't see me selling him for anything because he's just too good of a player at this club for us. And we, we just need, we need to keep him here. But like, Jesus. Look at the transfers. Yeah, we do not believe that he's worth that much. We've decided to stop pursuing him. Fair enough. I, I didn't really want to sell James McCarthy, to, especially to Real Madrid. But, like, bloody hell. Real Madrid going in for James McCarthy for 19 million as well. And he's, like, valued at... He's valued at about, like, 20-something million. We win this one 4-0 as well. Barkley picks up two goals. Okay, next match here against Hoffenheim. Hopefully we can pick up results. They picked up a loss in their first game and then two wins. So we're just hoping we can make it to that. 
into that final. 2-1, yes. Belassi and De La Faye. So I think we are in the final now of this uh, Champions Cup. Okay, we have a transfer offer for Nissan, who we are looking to get rid of. Um, let's go over his value, let's go 5.5. At the start of this episode, I actually forgot to buy my youth staff. And I'm spending a lot of money on them because I need, I need good youth players to come in, and I'm buying the highest, I'm buying the, the best of the best here, and four star, four star, which is, which is all right, it's all right. I will set up a scouting network for this guy. We'll send him to France for six months, and we'll just look for a physically strong player. We'll send, let's see who's the best scout. This guy. Oh, that guy's the best scout. I should have sent him to where I'm going to send the next one. I'm sending the next scout to, of course, where I am from, Ireland. Because I just, I just really want a good Irish player, technically gifted. And we'll send, okay, Turkey. We'll send this guy to, let's send him to, Italy for um we'll send him for any just find any player really for us Okay, the deal will go ahead for Nissan for 5.5, which is quite good for us. i uh, really, really happy with that. And right when we're heading into the game here against Milan, and we just, I, I'm happy, please don't be. Okay, I was just about to say that, oh yeah, thank God that, uh, yeah, we've won the game, brilliant. But I was just about to say, thank God we got through this whole preseason tournament with no injuries. And what happens? Ross Barkley gets injured. For how long? Oh my god. He is out for three months. And yeah, that changes everything. Because I don't think we have a backup cam. And let me just go check the squad. Like we we needed to keep him fit and now he's gone. And yeah, I don't think okay, this guy here. But like we're not gonna use him in our camp position so yeah guys that's another position that you can look at a uh, backup cam would be brilliant so really i'm just looking for you guys maybe a striker uh, a backup cam and a goalkeeper because we have a lot of money to spend and if you think about anyone else like maybe a, a backup player in any position um probably not cdm we're fine in cdm uh, anywhere else would be okay maybe another uh, left back another decent enough left back and maybe a future centre back as well but uh, yeah guys that's probably going to be the, um, an end to this episode so uh, leave a like, subscribe and leave comments down below players and all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one, peace